Hi there, Linda Nemme here from Embodiment for Sensitive People. Um, so happy that you're here. So last week I was I did a video on self-discipline. If you haven't watched it, I'll put a link. I'll put a link below so that you can uh, go have a look at it if you are curious about self-discipline for sensitive people. And today I want to talk about motivation. So self-discipline and motivation uh, goes hand in hand. Uh, and something that comes up a lot in uh, private sessions with clients and that's something that I've also explored in myself is how do we as sensitives stay motivated when there is... <laughs> There seems like there is so, like the shifts and changes in our internal environment are so uh, sometimes chaotic. Um, and we seem to not be as motivated by having things or getting uh, future rewards as uh, many other people on the more typical side of the spectrum seems to be. So we can say that there are three types of, of motivation. And there are two that are, are uh, very common, and that is extrinsic motivation. So that is when you get motivated by some external reward for what you're uh, pursuing. So you're doing something and you might get money for it, or you get praise, or you get some uh, you get things for it, so something external, you get an external reward for your efforts. And the other, other common motivation is the intrinsic. So that is that you get an internal reward for your efforts. So that is that um, maybe you feel a sense of pride for something that you've accomplished, or uh, it gives you joy or it feels like you're evolving as a human being. So it's something you get an internal reward once you've done it. But what I see in a lot of sensitive people is that none of these things are really that motivated. It doesn't give that much motivation to us. So there's an, another way of, of looking at motivation that is especially for sensitive people. And that is that we get motivated by being, by being present in the moment. So we get motivated by the things that feel uh, like we're able to express ourselves with authenticity and uh, that makes us feel really close to ourselves and to other people and to our environment. Uh, that makes us uh, feel present moment to moment. So that can even be that the motivation is just like that sense of, of uh, flow that arises when you're, uh, when you're really doing something that is just for uh, the sake of expressing what is true in this moment. And that is a, is a path that not a lot of people take because the, the, the normal thing <laughs> is to get motiv motivated by getting something external or getting an internal reward in the future. So therefore it can be difficult for us uh, sensitive people when it comes to, to motivation and self-discipline, if we use like these old ways or the less nuanced ways of looking at uh, self-discipline and motivation. And that is also why I think that embodiment is so, so beneficial. Embodiment and somatic practices are so beneficial for sensitive people because it brings us more and more first into the, the felt sense of actually being a physical being on this planet. And then also, so embodiment is not just about being in the body, but also that 
that expansion of sensing, ah, oh, I belong in this world. I'm here with these, these humans and plants and animals and the air and the sea, the ocean and the forest. And, and the more we ah, sink into that, <clears throat> that being state, the more we feel motivated to, to act and create and be authentically in the world as, as we're meant to be. Um, and I think that is why so many sensitive people are also like the creatives and the change makers of the world, because we experience and see and sense um, life in a, in, in a different way than, than a lot of other people do. So, mm, something to, to just ponder on. What, what motivates you? Uh, maybe this, uh, this resonates that you realize that, wow, you're, I'm not motivated by the things that other people are motivated by. Um, so, for example, I've started running again. And what motivates me to run is that I feel the wind on my skin and the warmth of the sun and I run with barefoot shoes on so I can feel I can sense the ground underneath me with every step and and just like the I'm sh now when it's summer I'm showered by the green colors of the forest uh, and that is what motivates me to to get outside uh, in nature so it's just uh, the being and uh, the being the being, <laughs> being a human being. Mm. If you <clears throat> enjoy these videos and uh, they resonate with you, you can subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified when every time I post a video. And I also want to say that I have something exciting coming up next month. I'll share on the 15th of July. I will share uh, this exciting news. I have a uh, well, I'm, I can tell you that I have a it's, a, it's a combination of a group and private program that will start this fall. It's a, uh, it's a wonderful a journey for, uh, for you who experience yourself as sensitive and really want to step into to feeling that that sensitivity is a superpower that you can use uh, uh, in a beneficial way for you and for the people in your life and your environment. But more on that on the 15th of July, if you want to, there will be like a whole month of, of uh, celebration of this, uh, of this journey. So if you want to take part in those celebrations, I recommend that you sign up for my newsletter. Uh, I will send out invites to some free classes and uh, yeah, but more on that next month. Um, until then, take care of yourself and uh, be, be you. <laughs> Much love.